we already know that Google was down for about 50 minutes two days back. And not just Google, every Google service which requires authentication was completely down. So that means all the services just like YouTube or Google Drive which requires your Google login, you won't be able to access any of those. So you know, the problem was not with Gmail or YouTube or Google Drive, but the problem was with the Google's central identity management system. Okay, so let me repeat it once again, central identity management system. So let us now try to dive deep and understand what the system is and why it created such a big outage. Like everything went down. How did that happen? It is because of the central identity management system. So let's now try to see that how things work behind the scenes and then we will understand that why you are getting all these errors and such a large scale outage happened. Okay. So Google has a lot of services. So suppose we have Gmail and we have YouTube, we have Google Drive and a lot of other services, right? So whenever a user tries to access these services via his computer, so he cannot directly access these services. Okay, so that means you can't directly access Gmail, you can't directly access YouTube, you can't directly access Google Drive. But before you access any of these services, you have to cross this boundary. This is known as CIMS, which is the Central Identity Management System. Okay, so it acts as a gatekeeper. So the Central Identity Management System manages the authentication of the user. Okay, so it basically checks whether you are logged in or not. Okay, so whenever you try to access your Gmail, YouTube or Google Drive or any other application in the Google's environment, okay, Google's ecosystem. So you need to pass through this gatekeeper. This acts as a gatekeeper. Okay, and if you cannot pass this boundary, you cannot access Gmail or YouTube or Google Drive. So it was not your Gmail, YouTube or Google Drive which was down, but the problem was in CIMS. This system went down. So all these Google services are dependent on this system. And this type of system is in the system design world is known as SPOF, which is known as single point of failure. Okay, so what is a SPOF system? So SPOF system in system design is the system which is a single point of failure. So if this system fails, then everything will like kind of goes down. Okay, so if I have to explain you in a very simple way, so you can assume that this is your house and this is your bedroom, this is your uh, kitchen, this is your bathroom. And if anybody wants to access this, right? If anybody wants to go to your bedroom, bathroom or kitchen, so he needs to pass through the main door. And at the main door, there is a gatekeeper. So if the gatekeeper went drunk, right, and that gatekeeper cannot recognize you and he does not uh, let you enter this, so it will result out to be an error. So you cannot go into your bedroom, bathroom or kitchen just before, just before like entering your main door or passing the gatekeeper. Okay. So this CIMS like tries to act as a gatekeeper before accessing any of the services which requires your login. May it be YouTube, Google Drive or Gmail. So now you will ask me that some people were still able to access YouTube and Google search even when these systems were down. Right. But actually these systems were never down. These were working correctly. So that is why a lot of people who were using incognito mode were still able to access YouTube because those incognito mode users do not require to go through this gatekeeper. So YouTube and Google search allows you to access these services even if you are not logged in. Okay. So if you try to open YouTube in incognito mode, you can still watch the videos. So, so it does not require your authentication. That is why those services were still accessed. So you can assume that to be if somebody wants to go to your bedroom and they are not allowed through the main door, but they can still peep in through the windows in your bedroom. That's how it was. You can access YouTube through incognito mode without being logged in or authenticated. So this is just a very high level overview of a very, very, very large scale complicated system. Okay. So when the user tries to access so when it gets authenticated it is not that it directly just reaches gmail and just gets the details and uh, get out of it so there are a lot of things happening in between also over here there are a lot of load balancers and a lot of other complexity complexities before it actually goes and the api gets the response for you okay but the major problem in this outage was over here in the 
गेट कीपर लेयर आई वुड से और दथेंटिकेशन लेयर एंड वेन यू आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस जी मेल सो इट वॉज लाइक नॉट इवन गोइंग टू जी मेल एंड इट जस्ट रिटर्न यूज एन एरर मैसेज ओके एंड सिमिलरली इफ यू ट्राई टू एक्सेस यूट्यूब इट रिटर्न द एरर मैसेज फ्रॉम दिस लेयर इट सेल्फ सो दैट इज वॉट द प्रॉब्लम वॉज and this is a very critical system so it needs to have 100% availability but 100% availability is just a myth in real life it like every company tries to achieve that but it is like uh, almost impossible at this point of time so that is the reason why even big companies and the best of the it companies such as google also goes down so one more important question is that why did this such a critical system like central identity management system why did this system went down how can this system go down right this is a very important question so google says that the root cause was an issue in our automated quota management system which reduced the capacity for this cims okay so there is a automated quota management system which manages the quota and it reduces the capacity for cims okay so and this system also went down because of another dependent service which was automated quota management system so this automated quota management system this system depends on this system and automated quota management system reduces the capacity of the cims that is what google has to say about this outage so now this system aqms why did this system reduce the capacity for central identity management system we don't know yet google has not released anything about it yet but just because cims was dependent on that system that is why this whole big outage happened so these spof systems are very critical component of any large scale systems okay and that is what makes this question as a very hot interview question so that is the main reason there is a system design round in the interviews for this big it companies okay so in the system design round this is a very hot question that uh, when you design a system then can you identify what are spof in the system okay what are the single point of failures and how can you uh, make sure that these single point of failure systems uh, like achieves 100% availability what are the algorithms what are the mechanisms you will use so that uh, these systems are like 100% available that is a very important interview question in system design round also and a lot happened in this 50 minutes right in just 50 minute of this outage a lot of services which we are daily dependent on such as like our gmail or google meet or like google search youtube like we have like engrossed these services into our life so much that we were so much affected by just this 50 minute outage so that is how critical these systems are so there are two important things which we can learn from this 50 minute big huge outage is that the first thing that even the biggest of the it companies like google can go down so these systems over there also are built by software engineers just like you and me right so these are bound to have errors they they can go down any time they do not achieve like 100% availability what we say and this is not the first time google is going down this time it became a huge matter because it was 50 minutes and all the services went down all together and that to globally but there have been incidents in past where just youtube was down or just google drive was down and maybe they were just down in a specific geographical location but this time it was happening globally and across all the services so that is why it became a huge matter but these services like go down like very often okay and not just google aws went down a couple of days back and even azure went down microsoft azure okay so these things these bugs bound to happen right so these are just some softwares which are um, running on some machines and those softwares are written by humans and humans make mistakes right <laughs> but this 50 minutes outage was definitely not because of somebody some software engineer missed a semicolon in their code and that bad code was deployed into the servers that is like even insane to even think about such a scenario okay that does not happen okay <laughs> software engineers don't miss semicolon these days and deploy their code that did not happen because of that for sure and you know suppose even if there is a bad code which is going to be deployed somewhere so it is not just deployed to 100% or globally all of sudden right so there is something known as control launch which these companies do suppose there is a feature which needs to be released 
in the uh, uh, in your code or in your app right so what they do is they do a control launch so it is just a, it is just launched for a certain amount of people and they test that whether it is working fine then they slowly slowly try to release it to the larger audience so that is how actually release happen in these big companies one more important thing which we can learn from this big outage is that we should not be dependent so much on these services okay so you know there was a guy who has his light bulbs and refrigerators and all these smart devices connected to google home okay and this google home requires a, a google assistant to work upon right so whenever you say something there is a google assistant which actually helps that device to control all these light bulbs and refrigerators and because of because of this google going down so this google assistant cannot communicate to the servers right to the internet it was getting error okay so this guy now cannot control his light bulbs and refrigerators and all these smart devices just because this google home went down right so we should not depend our life so much into these uh, application unless and until we are like uh, okay with these outages okay so uh, that is the thing which we can learn so next time if a website goes down then don't just blame that software engineer who missed the semicolon in his code okay till next time thank you for watching